All right. So we've successfully hit. Well, he said we lost, so he gave us second prize. I wonder what how you even get first prize, but that ring that he gave is pretty damn good. The Ring of Shadows, Pass Without a Trace. I put it on a Starion. It basically lets us just have a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks at all times, because it only requires an action, so I can recast it whenever, and it lasts until a long rest. It's concentration, though, so it may fall off if I take damage in combat, but that's amazing. Pretty cool. It's on all of us. So there's this uh, chest here. I'll pick this open. If I can get guidance. Yeah, I think um, there's no first prize because he always wins. So first, like, I mean, maybe we could kill him and find out what first prize is. It's probably something he possesses since he wins. There's a ring in here. Ring of mental inhibition. Mental inhibition. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue for two turns. And mental fatigue Ooh. has a minus one penalty to wisdom, intelligence, charisma, or and charisma saving throws. So wisdom, intelligence, and charisma have a minus one to saving throws for every turn remaining. Sounds interesting. Doesn't sound super good, though. All right, let's check the map. I got so we've this, explored uh, this area. Wooden desk right here that's locked. Oh, we do? Oh, yeah. What a day. Go. I mean, it sounds like that ring would be good for Grim. Oh, for a skeleton key. Uh, I mean, you could have it if he wants it. I don't plan on using it. There's a book in there. It's his diary. I'm not reading a kid's diary. Do you want that ring? Yeah, I'll, I'll use it. I'll swap it out for uh, swap it out for my poison resistance ring because we're not really dealing with a lot of poison right now. Yeah, that's true. And I can. Um, whoever I heal also gets cured of poison. Okay. Yeah. So that you don't really need the poison ring. All right, someone wants to read his journal. It's in there. I'm going to talk to him one last time before we head out. I think we should go back up north and explore the rest of that area up there before we continue heading south. Let's talk to this dead Githyanki. Oh, yeah. do some stuff. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Are there other good Yankee warriors nearby? Not in the Shadowlands. Atop the mountain reaching to the sun. How do I fight the curse? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Damn. Why were you here? Training. Becoming a Sarg. Leading my kin. Hmm. Hmm. Where are you from? Kresh Yilik. Hidden among the mountains. Veiled by ruins. Okay. So up in the mountains, there's a... A Kresh. Um... Got one more question to ask. How did you die? Foolish games. Shadow ambushed. Oh, okay, that's what Shameful I figured. Death. Dishonor to Vlakith. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. So she died to the kid's parents just like they ambushed us, except they died. Yeah. Damn. All right, let's head back. Back up north. Oh, there's some. Yeah, it's just going to be a bunch of rotting food in those baskets.
Yeah, I figured it'd be good to explore the rest of this area up north, northeast, before we continue down towards the tower. We haven't been this way yet. Perception failed on both of us. Failed. Damn. Let's keep our eyes peeled. There's a bunch of dead Harpers up here. Oh! There's an ambush. And then where I'm surprised. Whoa. Where the... He just pulled me in. There's a lot of them. I'm in danger. They might just kill me in this turn. Oh, those little oh, ones blow God. up when they die. Oh, do they? The dead Harpers are back to life as well. I might just die in this turn if they keep all go- Yeah. I'm dead. Oh, shoot. I didn't even get a turn. There's so many. Starion might die in without a turn as well. There's- holy crap. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> what is going on? If they would have attacked him, he would have been dead. Let's fall back to over here. Or over here, so we can use a choke point. Well, first we have to get you up. I, I'm i not sure how we go about doing that, though, is the problem. I'll heal you. Can you heal without coming around that corner? No, but we're not going to win this without you. I mean, we can, but we have to be really careful, and we're definitely going to need that choke point. You and a Starion are going to have to hold that bridge. And I, I don't have any level 3 spell slots either. I put some ice under them. But what are these guys immune to? So they only have necrotic resistance. So I can apply some poison to my weapon as well. That bigger one's got some more resistances. Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned and fall asleep. I'm going to use the drow poison. Maybe I can put some of them to sleep. You know, I'm kind of curious. If you die, I wonder if you just die die or you get or you get reanimated by the by the darkness. Hope that's not the case. And you just remain dead. Oh, they have the high ground. This is not the choke point to use. Yeah. We need to go to this one. I didn't realize they could get up on that ledge there. I mean, if if you can reach healing me from here without getting engaged with those Harpers, then maybe you could get me up. I just don't know how we're going to push into all of these guys. There's way too many. And those little guys, Grim said they explode when they die. Because of the needle burst. Yeah. So we can't be standing near them. But you have to remember, once I get revived, or healed, I don't have a turn now, though. So they probably are just going to swarm me again. If anything, maybe it'll buy us some time, I don't know. That was a good heal, actually. You revived me with 10 HP and 3 temp. Not bad. I think we just gotta fight these guys. We're gonna die running away. This is the choke point to use though back here. We can't just fight them here. They all are gonna swarm us. I don't know how you're gonna get out of there. 
I can try jumping and running, but... We don't win if we push in. There's too many. It's like the goblin fight. We have to we have to choke point them. And the big guys are level six. Oh, that guy's level nine. Yeah, I, I don't even have any AOEs to really help out with. At least not enough to outright kill a bunch of them. Well, I put ice on the stairs, which will hopefully slow them down. Yeah, I can put more ice on the stairs with ice knife. Nine? What garbage. Yeah, get as far that way on your turn as you can. Yeah, they're going for me again. Damn. Whoa, slow down there, little guy. That was like a perfect ambush, because as soon as I came up, the big guy... He used Thorn Whip to pull me in, and there was just nothing I could do. I didn't even get a turn. I got anything that's cooler. Now this could be cool. What's that? Essentially a landmine. Ah, uh, I can't put it down. Oh! Maybe... I can summon an elemental azure. How much health will it have? I don't know. Hey, you could try it. Could be a distraction we need to fall back. I got a mud mephit and an ice mephit. The mephit can die and explode. Probably the ice one. They can hurl and exhale, exhale ice. With a map fit, it's it's a fire bludgeoning thing with a warhammer and can overheat. I just don't know if I should throw it up there on the stairs or have it behind us. Put it right at the base of the stairs. Yeah. Or it can go with us if it can, or it can just It'll distract them enough. Those guys. Oh wow, that thing's got thirty nine health. Freaking yoked. And it gets all of our blessings and condition bonuses as well. That's awesome. Infinity. Astarian is kind of in danger because they are all going to go before him. He's probably going to go down. Hopefully that thing pulls a lot of their attention. Well, he's got ne necrotic resistance. Yes, yeah, sir. Here they go. Oh my gosh. That thing's pretty sweet. What a beast. The one fell. That's amazing. If he doesn't die, he's a permanent companion till he dies. Is there any high there's no high ground down here for us to get on either? Leave no trace. You got any Explosives to throw of any form? Um, I do. I have some thundering arrows. I can try and launch a couple of them off. I don't have enough movement to get in position right now, though. I think we wait for a lot of them to come down here 
and then I can put a explosive arrow here and try to launch them all into the void. Yeah, I thought about doing that too with that landmine. It has a bunch of elemental effects, and thunder was one of them. So if one would have moved, it would have set it off. What the hell was that? That was crazy. She threw it though. You That's almost okay. Killed him. That was kind of worth it. Look how much damage it did to all of them. Yeah, but I, I heal your guy. Yeah, he's a friendly. He's cool looking. He it's pretty fucking hard too. Six to twenty-three. What level spell slot is that? I think it's a five. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a four or five. I can't learn it yet. Oh, I didn't check to see if I could actually learn this or not. Well, I blew it anyway, so. Oh, you used a scroll? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. I would try and smack the dude that's... Yeah. Because that's the only one who can get past you right now, I think. Should have searing smited him. Look at them all stacked up. Oh my god, he's so dead. Holy oh my god. Oh, I rolled bad. God, too bad you don't have any AoEs, Grim. You could wipe them all out on the stairs. Who said I doesn't? You said you didn't. At the beginning of the fight. I can't see the radius on this grenade. Oh my gosh. Perfect. They all killed each Destroyed other. Destroyed them all. Because they blew up. Yeah, I didn't think about that. All I probably had to do was kill one. That was amazing. That, that was awesome. I still regret nothing. There's one left at the bottom, and then there's the two big guys. There's three big, three guys, big guys. But one really big <laughs> well, guy. Yeah, two mediums and a big motherfucker. Yeah, see, now they're dashing down here, so we should be able to... Let me see if I can I'm launch some. I'm going to ice one. Well, the ground. Damn, they're too far from the edge. Oh no, wait, maybe down there. No, yeah, they're too far from the edge. Damn. Alright, what are these bigger guys? These bigger guys have different resistances. This guy's just necrotic. The really big guy has other resistances as well. Yeah. He's not a monstrosity. Oh, he has external digestion, can devour any creature that is restrained and steeping in its digestive juices. It's kind of nasty. Yeah, so I guess he'll heal him. It's probably, I guess it's like a castable. Hope he just eat your character. Okay, I knocked him down. That made him stand up? How? You woke him up. Oh, he was sleeping. I thought he was just prone from the ice. Yeah, I'll put him back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was looking to see what that did. This is affected with poisoned and has fallen asleep. Come on, trip on the ice. Oh, he got stuck behind his friend. It's actually kind of nice. He sandbagged him. Undead's about to obliterate the big guy. He's on a holy crusade. This 
guy's the big guy's resistant to necrotic, fire, and cold, and he's immune to lightning. Nice. That spirit weapon is amazing. It's pretty good. I like it. Careful of that little guy by you, Grim. He blows up. Maybe take a step back if you're going to shoot him with anything. No, I'm not shooting the little guy. I'll leave that to the weapon. Because I can hit them with something harder. Why is the... The big guy is too dark to hit? I have a disadvantage. Well, he's got really high fire resistance as well. Oh, is fire one of them? Yeah, he's very resistant. Oh, but he'll take half... But he'll take half damage, though. Yeah. Not tank my accuracy into the garbage. Hmm. He's considered a plant. What is that you got there? Acid. Oh. Oh. Fuck oh, you. I woke up the one guy. He's got mental fatigue. Yeah, but the, the big it big guy had a damn saving roll. It didn't even affect him. He might have to walk through it still. Oh, shit. Still have quite the fight on our hands, because that big guy is level 9. Go for the throat. Okay, let's see. Just blow the small one up, so it doesn't blow up. Yeah, I'll shoot it with my offhand. I'll shoot it twice with my offhand. I'll <laughs> shoot it with my main hand. I have nothing left now. <laughs> uh, oh, I took damage from that. It was probably better than it being right in your face. Yeah, I think so. All right, here comes the big boy. Okay. Oh, oh, no. That's exactly what he did to me. He sucked me in. Oh, you frightened him. Two turns. Nice. And buy us some time. Can I hit him? Even though he's frightened? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. He, he just can't move and he has a disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. So it's a lot safer to stand there next to him than it was before. Or somewhat safer. Can he still do attack of opportunities? I don't think so. Doesn't say he can't, so I'm going to assume he can. Because I was going to say, if you took like two steps away, you'd be safe because he couldn't reach you. Because he can't move when he's frightened, but he'll still attack of opportunity you. I mean, move your mouse away. Do you see like an arrow? What? 
Uh, no, because I attacked him. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have momentum. So, yeah, I would take, like, two steps back so you're out of his range. So he has to attack the weapon. Okay, here comes that other one. Oh, never mind. Oh, and he's constricting. Wrapped around a target to constrict it and can't move. I kind of want to launch this dude off the edge. But I don't think he'll go through that hole. I think he's too big. What? Can you run to the other side of him and then launch him into this chasm to your left? And now it's too far. It won't throw him that far. Yeah, because he's 500 kilograms. I don't. I think if you were to even throw him, I don't think he would even go that far. Oh my god, he still just sucked you in. He hits so hard, it's ridiculous. I can't really even believe this guy is up here, that he's level 9. I think no matter what, that would always out-level you when you would find him. Undead, are you able to move away? Yeah, I will. Okay, because I have, I have something special for him. Don't kill the spirit weapon with it. Just I should my hurt move. the spirit weapon? Oh no, it's immune to poison. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh yeah, he doesn't have any oh, poison shit. resistances. I forgot what I hadn't hit him. Oh, I knocked him what? prone. Oh, did you try to move away and he attack of opportunity you yeah. that for that much? Holy shit. I forgot that I didn't uh I didn't hit him so I can move away. Damn. Gonna drink a potion. What the hell is that cloud kill? It's a a big, really toxic cloud. Oh, it's shit. five to forty damage. Wow. Five d eight poison. And while I can remaining move it. in the t holy shit, that is strong. Yeah, and the other dude's stuck in there. Yeah, the other guy should probably die. Oh, there's still another one back there, too. As long as I don't break concentration. Nice. He can do a vine whip, remember. Oh, and it blinds foes as well. Yeah, it's... I'm so far oh. from... He saved Cloud Kill, so he didn't take the damage from it. <laughs> it's fine. If he moves, I'll just move the Cloud. This thing is beefy. Can you cast those magic missiles as a higher level spell and make them 
hit harder. I just did 31 damage. Yeah, I just casted a level two magic missile. I got a fourth one, but it's um, uh, it's a two to five. Ah. Uh. Damn, he broke your concentration and puked all over us. <laughs> oh, you got digestive juices on us. What do you mean I got them on us? I'm gonna juice him up right now. Oh, nice. Why is the other one up there not moving? He's like frozen or something. I don't know. Careful the darkness, member. Yeah, well, I, don't I, mean, have I got light my torch. In there anymore? Oh no, I'm. St am I lit? Yes, the light is still emanating from me, or from my mace, even though I'm dead. Can't even shoot him. Oh, digestive juices is acid damage per turn. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we have to finish this guy off and get back to town. Ouch. Rooted. Constricted as a condition. I mean, he's. We just have to break his concentration. If he lives through his next turn, it does 5 to 18 damage. Undead might die as soon as his next turn comes. I'm going to drink fly. another potion. Just fly that weapon over there. It doesn't have that big of a range. This fight was like harder than the one at the inn. I mean, the inn fight was pretty fun. Those guys weren't too bad. I didn't say it wasn't fun. This one's just significantly more difficult. Nice. Good job. Choke point for the win. Watch out for that ice there. Uh, can we short rest? Actually, I mean, I'm out of spells. We're going to long rest because we need to get void up as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to head to camp. 